All right, welcome back to Uptick Updates. This is episode 10. Brian, how are you doing? Hey, good. Yeah, not good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. The time flies. It's only been a week, but uh, I guess 24 hours ago, you had a big update. Uh, congrats on one year of having the NFT marketplace up and running. That's mm -hmm. that's amazing. And uh, the other big news in that update on the, the Medium site was was uh, the, mm, I guess, the testnet coming out and the details about the token, the uptick token. Can you uh, teach us about that? Oh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, thank you for saying that uh, anniversary things. It has, it has been a good achievement uh, to me and to the team and also the community we have been building right over the year. Mm. So it's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, let me, let me just uh, share something. Uh, 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 what well, maybe... A little bit of review and uh, and and also share more uh, thoughts around it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So so basically, you know, uh, the optic network uh, is a uh, I would say pretty established uh, in the market. But uh, in the past, actually, we we really keep our uh, profile low. So we want to have to see how end users react to our uh, platform and. Uh, uh, help us to really tune uh, the infrastructure behind it. Mm -hmm. So that, that's our goal, really try to build a so-called business grade optic infrastructure. Uh, it's not a test version, but we really want to make it work. Uh, so actually we're using marketplace uh, uh, to test it by ourselves, right? So if this marketplace doesn't work really well, the, the, the whole infrastructure story well, just a story, right? So it's difficult because uh, we, 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 we're not only build it for ourselves. We really, uh, the goal is to really open it to empower any business uh, who wants to build NFT business, right? Uh, by themselves uh, on the so, such public chain. So the Optic Marketplace was uh, 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 actually uh, launched uh, one year ago, actually March 12th of uh, 2021. So at that time, actually, was the first time uh, the whole Cosmos ecosystem has a real NFT application uh, running. Because uh, at that time, was uh, we that's why we have a very strategic uh, partnership with IrisNet, because they build a base NFT module uh, in uh, uh, well, in, in the ecosystem. So we are the first one to, to test it and use it and put it into the production mode. Uh, actually, because of this uh, marketplace, we are also helping uh, them to fine tune uh, the module. Uh, to uh, Actually, right now, I, I believe there's a big news, uh, big thing will happen uh, in the March is uh, to Cosmos SDK upgrade. Uh, uh, for this month, it, so such uh, NFT module will be a standard module uh, inside it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so that's why we 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 we, we uh, launched last year. So uh, at the same time, we try to really uh, run it as a real business, right? So it's not a demo or prototype. Mm -hmm. We want to run it as a real business uh, because uh, you know. Uh, Internet business is a, is a heavy operation business, right? It's not a product. It's an operation around it. And uh, just like a baby, you need to take care of that and uh, see it grow, right? So help it grow. So, so that's, that's our journey in last year. So, uh, so far, so good, I will say. Uh, there's uh, uh, thousands of creators around the world and uh, contributed uh, uh, more than 100K NFT with qualities in the market. So we have uh, over 25% uh, of NFT uh, uh, was traded in the marketplace. That's yeah. huge, so, that's great. Yeah, so, it, so the, the, the absolute number is not very high, but, but, but the rate is pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> which means uh, there's not, many garbages <laughs> in, in that, right? So mm -hmm. all the people who published the uh, NFT has their purpose and there was their well, quality. Uh, so I, I'm so happy to, 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 to have this. Uh, personally, I also made a lot of friends through Optic platform. 
because we have a, not only the trading function, but we have a messaging, messaging function. So it's, uh, uh, it, it, it's helping people to establish the relationship, right? Because uh, the creator and the collectors, naturally they need to establish relationship, right? So that's, that's for the long-term and sustainable uh, business in this uh, industry. Now, at the same time, you know, we, we also expand to photo, MP4, short video category. So we want to see how, uh, what type of, a, uh, any type of a media, uh, should be a, well uh, supported by the NFT infrastructure and also put it into real market uh, uh, to 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 well to basically upgrade their their current business model in the Web two, yeah. So that's uh, that's something we did uh, pretty good, yeah. So so uh, so by uh, this is so called we call it as a phase one of an optic network project. So basically build the flagship application to operate it, to prove it, especially uh, to build the underlying infrastructure uh, to, to, to fine tune that, to make sure it works well. So that uh, so far, I think we, we, we reached this goal pretty well. Uh, so that's why we are entering the phase two of optic project which is uh, try to open up this uh, uh, infrastructure. But before open up this infrastructure, we want to make sure uh, the uh, underlying blockchain, uh, uh, we need to, uh, because uh, one, one key uh, uh, well, notion of an uh, optic uh, network, we want to support multiple chain and uh, cross chain, interchain. Uh, because that's the basic requirement for the digital asset. Tokenized digital asset can be uh, uh, well everlasting or uh, can be have a uh, well value for the investors uh, in the long run, right? So we, we don't need separate islands, uh, isolated islands. So by doing that, we uh, in the infrastructure level, uh, we need to establish uh, the public blockchain and the interchain capability, uh, especially uh, focusing on the NFT related business. Yeah, so that's why, you know, so for the phase two part, it's very important to launch optic chain, uh, of course, based on the Cosmos SDK. So it's a very good technology uh, and secured by the Tendermint engine uh, and especially with IBC capability. So that's a uh, pretty good uh, internet of blockchain uh, concept. That's yeah. why, yeah. So at the same time, we also want to make sure uh, we will not just a, create a separate island by ourselves. We want to make sure we really support multiple chain. At the same time, we really have a multiple chain token economy model. Uh, so we want to support each other. Uh, for example, the IrisNet. We, we will continue to run the marketplace on IrisNet, mm -hmm. but uh, with a, a current focus. At the same time, on optic chain, maybe we will, we will introduce more uh, uh, ecosystem applications to support the traded NFT asset, right? And also uh, try to link uh, the multiple chain economy together through IBC. Yeah, that's uh, our ideal uh, uh, plan for that. Uh, we'll still have ways to go, but uh, to, 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 to start the first step of phase two, uh, the one key step is to really put the optic chain in place. Uh, that will make the whole uh, uh, architecture complete, right? Mm -hmm. So then we'll, we'll keep optimizing and uh, fine tune that. And yeah. uh, so, so that's why next week uh, we are going to uh, start uh, the testnet uh, effort. So currently we already have the official nodes uh, uh, set up and running. Mm -hmm. So with a test NFT application, uh, or you can say it's a simple, simplified marketplace uh, because we, 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 we hope people can test it, help us tune the, the chain. What, what exactly do you mean by opening it up? We want to make sure the, that the infrastructure it will be available to everybody. Mm -hmm. Which means uh, the well, first of course, on the layer one, by na 
by 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 nature it, it should be open sourced right so people can check it out uh, mm -hmm. to contribute that or check out the uh, well security or uh, whatever things so that's by nature uh, the second part is uh, uh, say we have a, a bunch of SDK built on top of uh, uh, layer one to provide a uh, API uh, uh, interface support to the upper level applications. So for this part, uh, I mean, the infrastructure com component part, we need to open up to make it available to more developers, right? So that way it actually will help them to simplify their work, right? They don't need to work uh, like a full stack from yeah. top to down, everything. They, they just focusing on their business logic. They just are uh, using our APIs uh, to quickly build their NFT application mm. yeah so that's uh that's uh, i call it open up yeah uh, so yeah so we have a github uh, account mm -hmm. uh, official account so it will be available uh, to everybody very soon I so well, uh, also including the documentation uh, it's also a very important part for the programmers mm -hmm. yeah if if the nfts are still going to be mainly traded using the iris mm -hmm. token mm -hmm. well, how can people benefit yeah. from using the uptick token Oh, uh, actually, two things. Uh, first, on the marketplace side, even though uh, so currently we're using RS token to trade uh, for the NFT, yeah. but uh, 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 very soon we will include more uh, popular tokens in Cosmos ecosystem to mm -hmm. to, to be a part of the payment uh, method. Okay. So, uh, so we will not just limit it a specific iris token or some other token. We will, basically we are building a payment service uh, to uh, to include more tokens uh, to to be able to pay for the NFT on mm -hmm. our marketplace. Uh, basically, you can use use Atom to pay for uh, iris uh, or to pay for the. Uh, NFT, but internally we will do a lot of uh, transfer, uh, exchange, swap, uh, those uh, functions. So just like how you can use a Binance coin to mm. lower your transaction fees in Binance, the uptick mm. token would let you have the service of doing the swapping. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uptick token first, uh, it's a utility token, mm -hmm. right, and also it's a governance token. So that's a major purpose for that. But of course, it will when once its value is uh, pretty uh, uh, established, it will be one of the token can be the uh, in the payment. Right? Yeah. So so uh, so basically, optic token we we define it as a, a governance and utility token in the first place. Uh, so, uh, so 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 that's why it doesn't have a conflict with uh, others, right? So. Uh, so it's a platform token can be used for exchange for NFT, but at the same time, it's more important to 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 help people to like a validator, so they can stake uh, the optic token to run the nodes. Uh, they can also use uh, going to the DeFi uh, to to farm uh, the, the to to do the farming, right? Mm -hmm. so, so it all requires tokens. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, so actually, this will be included in our token economy model uh, as a part of the uh, simple white paper. So we're going to uh, publish very soon. Yeah, yeah. When can we see that white paper? I'm dying to see it. Yeah. So ne next week. Uh, by end of next week. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, I, I give myself a deadline. So we need to have the outline and the uh, simple description. Maybe mm. don't have to be a hundred page, but just make sure it's clear, right? So yeah. people you, people know how, how it works. Because uh, we are also working on uh, like uh, defining the airdrop uh, mm -hmm. scheme. Right, so so it's it's pr pretty popular. So we in the Cosmos ecosystem, uh, people try to airdrop to each other, right, to encourage the community participate. But uh, we don't want to do the blind airdrop. So we want to uh, build a strategy around the core NFT business uh, to really unite uh, the valuable uh, member to join us. And will it be on an exchange right from the beginning, or how, how does that uh, work? The first step is to make sure it will be available to the DEX 
in the Cosmos ecosystem, mm -hmm. which is like Osbus is, is running pretty well. Okay. So maybe some others. So uh, first it will go to the DEX, uh, decentralized exchange. And then uh, when everything is working uh, pretty well, so we are of course open to some centralized exchange, but uh, that will be the second step. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So back to that Medium article, it said that some stuff starting as soon as tomorrow, right? March 14th? Is that when yeah. the testing begins? Yeah, yeah. So okay. so we will we will set up four test nodes of ourselves uh, to uh, and to uh, deploy the test marketplace to make it work. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, uh, well, it, uh, you know, uh, actually one key thing is uh, we have the EVM module in Arctic chain. Oh. So that will be very important. So oh, that's why we don't want to duplicate another marketplace, say oh, IrisNet, uh, Arctic Net. It doesn't really make sense. So we will build a, a Arctic um, marketplace on Arctic chain based on the EVM standard. So, so which means it will be naturally support ERC-721, ERC-1155. So those are uh, standard on Ethereum. And also it will naturally have the uh, EVM bridge connection uh, to, to the external uh, EV, uh, those uh, blockchains. So that's, that's a very important part for uh, building Arctic chain. Yeah. So we will include it in the white paper so that uh, it's not just a duplicate of IrisNet. So uh, the first step is to, we have our official node uh, uh, in place yeah. and uh, uh, to make sure the uh, environment is ready for external uh, validators. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, then we will probably by, by end of next week, we will welcome other validators to join uh, the, 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 the node network. Great. Uh, so, yeah. Great. And the details will be in Telegram and Discord, yeah? Just yeah, details will be in uh, Discord, Telegram, and uh, of course, we'll publish the in Twitter account. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, it will be a very busy week <laughs> next week. So uh, a lot of things uh, to do. Yeah, so, and also the light uh, version of a uh, white paper. Uh, to make sure people understand the whole story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's also very important. So basically next week is a, a full uh, preparing uh, time and uh, 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 to make sure it's ready for, for the uh, solid next step. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I guess we'll be seeing you next week. We'll do it again next okay. Sunday, yeah? Well, okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Anything else before we wrap it up? Yeah, just uh, I, I hope the audience can just uh, pay attention to our Telegram uh, Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we, we might have more announcement over there. So we, we can also answer more questions over there. So uh, yeah, so uh, it will be very uh, busy schedule. So we want to make sure, uh, uh, you know, our original target is uh, to make uh, this uh, phase two uh, warm up and in place uh, by end of Q1, right? Mm -hmm. So we are still in the middle of uh, March. So we have two weeks to go. I hope, uh, yeah, we can do that. Sounds great. Okay, good luck, Brian. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Take yeah, care. Yeah, thank you.